Hello everyone, today I will be bringing you a tutorial on how to make your skins and get them in the game in Track Day R. So, first thing you're going to want to do is have your image manipulation program opened up. There's GIMP, Photoshop, and a few other options that you can choose from. I use GIMP because I'm more familiar with it and it's easier for me to use. So, now that we have GIMP open, what you're going to want to do, I already have a number plate a template opened. What you're going to want to do is open, find your bike templates. They can be found in the Discord. So, And then you're going to want to open the template. Now that we have the template open, first thing we're going to want to do is just basically break this down for you so you have the wireframe it doesn't really do anything except help you create basically it's just if you if you turn it off you see that you can't see the plastic so you just want to leave this on while you're making your skin and you're gonna want to basically hide or you could delete these the occlusion layer and the wireframe layer when you export but for now, we'll just focus on making the kit. Now, that you're in the program and you're ready to make your kit, first thing we should explain is I always make an extra layer for my logos. You're not going to put these on this layer, but this is going to be a layer I would use for merging them into at the end. Or you could make a category like another category and just put them in there and then stack all their individual layers but just to save layers this is how I do it and now you'll be able to put say let's grab a number here and we'll take my number and we'll put it on on the bike I just copy and paste it's so easy and then when you get in here you're gonna want to paste uh, into selection in place and then make a new layer for this individual and then before I stretch it out or anything say we're gonna do all three number plates I'll just duplicate this two more times before I go resizing it and changing basically the quality and resolution of the number so we'll move these around to their designated areas first thing we'll do is scale the front number plate I like it to be a little more stretched up and down like real life so I hold shift on my keyboard and then change the size so that way it doesn't make it stay square you're unlocking the axis to be able to do what you want and then I'll scale that and then these two will just throw a quick rotation on them real fast because they should be big enough to just I mean small enough to fit in here so what you what I'm gonna do here is just grab the general like curve of the plastic just quick line up and then we'll move them over like I said we're not going to resize them because it's just for a tutorial I'm not really trying to do anything fancy they're on the plastic it'll work and then after you have all your logos compiled everything everywhere that you would like it I would just start merging down start getting everything together and then throw it on that logo layer and now you're going to want to drop this under the wireframe and above your livery. So, one last thing for coloring, you could make another layer and then color over everything and then shut this layer off as well. And then have the colors that you made, but me the easier way is you just click the livery, grab your color. We're going to use Nardo gray. And then you just basically go over the plastic that's outlined with the wireframe. So this is the front fender. We want the front fender gray. We're going to just go over that front fender. Be careful not to go in the other plastics if you can, other, other pieces of the bike. But try and grab everything. I would recommend using a slightly smaller brush than this. But I'm just doing this to rush. So we'll do the front and back fender gray. Everything is good here. So you, like I said, you're going to want to turn off this bottom layer and this top layer. Then file, export as. If you're on Photoshop, this all might be slightly different, but around the same. Then you're going to want to find your track day R folder and documents and your skins. 
As you see, I have a tutorial skin already made. We're just going to overwrite this one, export over it. And now that we have our skin exported, we'll start our game. Okay, once your game has started, you're going to want to go to bike. Find the bike that you just made the skin for, select it, and import the skin. Mask and normal map are optional, so I have not made those yet. What you want to do is grab your skin, upload it to the color map, and hit create. And now that we have our skin, we'll select it. And as you can see, front fender's gray, back fender's gray, and our numbers are on the plastics. That is my way of how to make a skin in track day R, and I hope it helps anyone who's struggling on this subject. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day.